Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel about the Flipper Zero. We're going to talk about the Wi-Fi development board today and more specific, the original Wi-Fi development board for Flipper Zero. So we're going to install Marauder on it today and I'm going to take you through the whole process. I will also talk about the do's and the maybe will not works. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to do a bulletproof update of the Marauder firmware to the Wi-Fi developer board. This content is for educational purposes only. Please read the four points below before you proceed. If you want to use this knowledge, please be aware only to use it on your own possessions. Do not hack anyone that is illegal and you can go to jail. So you got yourself a Wi-Fi development board for your Flipper Zero. You got the small box, you know, the small cardboard box that I have right here. I'm going to just pick it out. This is the actual module. It's just a little small you know, circuit board and you get a small box and inside the box is nothing, just the circuit board really, it's nothing inside, no cable, nothing. You need to have the cable already when you buy. So that's probably a really good tip for you to know. You need to have the USB-C cable <clears throat> in order to flash firmware directly on it. Now, there are different ways for you to flash firmware directly on the Wi-Fi development board. And the way I'm gonna show you today is, a bit more manual, but it's a lot more bulletproof and it works every time. The other easy way, and you probably think, why didn't you just show me the easy way? Well, because it didn't work for me. And I've been reading about many people having problems with the easy way. So I decided to do it the still easy way, but you click me instead of you click one time, you click four times. So it's uh, <laughs> almost as easy. I would categorize it as super easy still. So the firmware we're going to burn down on this development board today is going to be the Marauder firmware. And you can find that on this page here called Uber Guidos, so Guido X set, sorry. And you go to the Flipper repository. And just going to say like all links that I use in the video is in the description below. And then you can scroll down a bit and go to Wi-Fi development boards. There we go. And just go ahead and choose the, let's just scroll down a bit here and you can read everything about it basically. And if that is what you want to do, then go ahead and knock yourself out. Um, on here, we're going to go ahead and choose the effort mode flasher and then go ahead and pick the zip file right there. So you can go ahead and just click it and click raw to download. When that is downloaded, you basically just gonna, I'm gonna unzip it. So just give me a moment, unzip it. And you're gonna get a folder just like that. And <clears throat> what you're gonna get inside this folder here are some other folders, a flasher and a tool. Now the easy way is just to use the flash.bat file. Now, if you can get that to work, you know, that's great. I'm not really gonna talk about it, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and hold down the boot button. I'm gonna make sure what to exactly. This is the Wi-Fi development board. So there are two buttons on it. It's a reset button and a boot button. So when you plug in your USB cable there, <laughs> before you plug it in, you hold the boot button and then you put in the cable, okay? Not the other way around, you hold the boot button and then you plug in the cable. Hold the boot button for maybe three seconds. Now, that is the original way you're going to do it. And that's the way you're going to do it exactly if you're going to use the flash.bat file. Now, the way I'm going to show you, you don't need to hold any boot buttons, but you need to use a website instead but you still need this software right here. And there is a folder called Marauder right there, which is the one you should just go ahead and double click it. Inside that folder, you're gonna contain three different files, okay? There's the bootloader.bin, 
there is the actual Marauder software, or the firmware, and then there is something called partitions.bin. Those three files need to be put down to the Wi-Fi development board in a particular order. So the exact tool we're gonna use is a tool developed by Spacehoon. And he's, he's the guy, I'm gonna give you a big shout out Spacehoon. You are the man behind tools of Arduino and stuff like that. So this is the web flasher and it's quite easy to use. Now, the way you're gonna do this, and I already have flashed my development board. It's basically just connected to your computer. So I'm gonna do that right now. So you take your something USB cable, you know, and just plug into your, you know, there we go. And then it's gonna, you know, turn on and off and I don't know if you didn't, I don't know if you saw the actual L LID uh, turning on, but at some point when you plugged it in, you're able to pre press connect and something more will show up here in this window. And that will be in most particular cases gonna be the COM4 port. That's gonna be my port showing up here. And it will be very visual representative whenever it's ready to be picked. Because when you plug in the Wi-Fi development board to your computer, there's a slight chance that some drivers or something like that, you know, probably maybe not was installed. <laughs> and <clears throat> just gonna recognize the actual board. So, and we can just, you know, if you're unsure about the cable, if it's fitting or something, you can just wiggle it around a bit, but you know, I, I know it's working. So I'm just gonna put it there on my table. And whenever your computer is making the exact sound of some device was connected, it's gonna make this sound in Windows. And that's when we know we can click connect. So we're gonna wait that out and I'm gonna pause the video. So when you hear the sound on the computer <clears throat> and the connect tool is then connected, your Wi-Fi board, then you click the connect button and you will see the small that one right there. <clears throat> so that is actually the ESP32S2 COM4 port click connect. And whenever that is visible, you will see what is actually burned on it. I put on the bootloader on that address and partitions on that address and the bootloader one more time on that address and the actual Flipper Zero software from Marauder on that one. So you in that folder here, you will have these files you downloaded from Uberguido. So we have the bootloader bin, partitions, and the actual Flipper Zero software. Just go ahead and now you cannot see it, but click select, right? <laughs> and, and that's as easy it is. Click select, pick it, and that's it. So when you pick those three, that's the four clicks I talked about, then you click burn the program and that's it really. So this is more bulletproof way for you to do it. If you are having trouble connecting the Wi-Fi development board to the web uh, flasher, then you can hold the boot button before you connect it. So one more time, if you're having trouble connecting it to the computer, hold the boot button and then connect it to your cable and it should really fast make the sound on your computer that some sort of device was connected and then you can pick it in the ESP web tool. If nothing works for now already, go ahead and give a try and do the flash.bat file, but I, I, I reckon you're gonna use the flasher on the web here because it's a lot easier. When that is done, you just click program and it will you know run and be done. And then you can press the reset button and it will disconnect from the website. The thing to do now is just basically to disconnect the board just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in the cable in my Flipper Zero because we're going to connect it to the Q Flipper software so we can show exactly what's going on. So while that is being re-recognized, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how you can plug in the 
Wi-Fi development board. And you're gonna see like there are the GPO pins just here in, in the top. And it's not the same amount of pins, so make sure you connect it this way right here. And basically just gonna plug it in. I'm just gonna do it right now. When you plug it in, you will see that it flashes uh, pretty fast and that basically means that it works. So now that we have it right here, you need to go ahead and open the Q flipper, go to apps, go to GPIOs, and then you're going to go ahead and do the Wi-Fi Marauder. And now you can use it. Now a word of caution right now is that sometimes it can make your firmware crash. This is because this is not official firmware, this is custom firmware. And whenever you're using custom firmware, there's a chance that your OS is gonna crash. Well, fear not, it is quite easy just to let it reboot. What you can do now is go ahead and say scan for AP or for station. The AP is the access point, it's gonna be the actual router broadcasting the Wi-Fi instant signal. The stations is gonna be the connected clients to particular routers. When you've done that, you can go ahead and scroll down a bit and do some sort of attacks, the auth probe, rig roll, and so on and so on. Now, I'm not really gonna do any type of attack, but I'm gonna go ahead and run this and just press scan for APs. And it's gonna look like this. So you will not see anything fancy. You will not see anything like you haven't seen before whenever you are scanning your Wi-Fi network. Just press done whenever you're done. And then you can go back and do whatever type of stuff you would like to do. Now, this is not a tutorial in Marauder. This is basically me showing you exactly how to install it, how to use it. Uh, play caution with this because it is actually not legal to use this for malicious purposes. You will have to use it on your own Wi-Fi access point which is also what I do when I showcase stuff on my channel. So basically this is how you install through the web flasher on Spacefun's website, Marauder on the Wi-Fi development board. So if you learned something for this video, you know, something new, please let me know below, you know, and leave a comment, you know, subscribe to the channel, say, hey, something like that, write first, second or third, if you are that quick, and I hope to see you again online. Tune into my channel another day and we're gonna have a great time talking about stuff together, hopefully. And see you again. Bye.